Welcome to physical activity video number three. Today we are focusing three exercises on the upper body. Yet again, there'll be three levels of intensity. We have Sam, who's shown the beginner level exercises, B, who's shown the intermediate, and Jack, who will show the advanced level exercises. Depending on the activity today, you may need some equipment. This includes a chair or a bench, water bottles, tins of food, a bag of pasta, and a towel. Today's workout will begin with a brief warm up. This is to reduce injury and get us prepared for today's workout. First of all, shoulder shrugs. Rotate the shoulders forwards and then backwards, completing for 30 seconds each. Then, arm crosses. Twist and cross the arms across the body in a controlled way. Increase how far you can reach around the body each time. Again, 30 seconds for this. Next, swing your arms forwards and then backwards, but not too fast. Maintain control throughout the exercise. Now, our first exercise is bicep curls. For the beginner level, you want to take something relatively light. Sam is demonstrating using a bag of pasta. Start with the pasta in one hand by your side. Keeping the upper arm stationary, lift the pasta up towards your shoulder, bending at the elbow. Lower back down in a controlled manner and repeat. Maintain control and ensure you are fully extending the arm before bringing it back up. Complete 30 seconds on each arm. B is completing the same exercise as Sam, however holding items in both hands. B is using tins of food found in her cupboard at home. Again, keeping your arm stationary, bend at the elbow to lift both tins towards the shoulders before extending back down towards the floor. Finally, Jack is showing the advanced level exercise. This is the same movement as the previous two levels, however Jack adds in the shoulder press. So, keep your arm stationary for the curl and lift the weight up towards the shoulder. When at the top, twist the hands around and push upwards above the head. Return the weight back down to shoulder height and extend the arm down to the side of the body. Now repeat. When completing biceps curls, be sure not to start with too heavy a weight. Use an object you can comfortably hold and lift, increasing the weight as you develop your strength. A good way to do this is to use an object that you can add weight to. For example, you could use a water bottle, a shopping bag or a bucket and increase how much you put in each time. Bicep curls can be done either seated or standing. Try to maintain the movement for the full 30 seconds, completing each rep at the same speed. During the advanced movement, take your time. You may want to use a lighter weight to begin with to build confidence completing both the curl and the press in one movement. Again, gradually build the weight as your strength increases, focusing on form rather than number of reps completed. Today's second exercise offers three variations of press ups. Complete 30 seconds of reps before taking a 15 second rest. Find yourself a wall or a stable object, an office desk is a great place to start. Extend your arms to measure out how far away you need to be standing. Then, maintain control at all times, slowly bend the arms at the elbows until they form a 90 degree angle. Then, contract the chest muscles, pushing back up to the starting position. Be shown the intermediate level. Spread your weight evenly between your hands and knees, keeping a straight back. Hands should be shoulder width apart, Bend at the elbow until 90 degrees and push back up to the starting position. Keep the movement controlled with the same speed up and down. Get the chest as close to the floor before pushing back up. The final adaption of the press up is the most common. Spread the weight between the feet and your hands evenly. Hands beneath the shoulders with a straight line between the shoulders and heels. Slowly lower the body towards the floor making sure the core is engaged before contracting the chest and pushing back up to the starting position. Maintain the same speed throughout the exercise, 
pacing yourself to be able to complete the full 30 seconds. Start the exercise slowly, focusing on getting the chest as close to the floor as possible before increasing the difficulty level. A mirror is a great aid to help you see whereabouts you are. There are lots of online variations of press-ups. If you are competent in all of these three variations, challenge yourself further and search for the next step. Press-ups are a very popular exercise due to them requiring no equipment, yet still working a number of muscles. They are a compound exercise, working the shoulders, the chest and the core just to lift the upper body. Press-ups are easy to monitor progression, you simply do more each time. However, correct form is always more important than how many you can do. Final exercise this week is tricep dips. As always, 30 seconds work, 15 seconds rest. You'll need a chair or a bench which is secure enough to hold your weight. If possible, put it against the wall to stop the legs moving. Sam is showing us the beginner exercise. Start with your hands on the edge of the seat with your legs out in front of you. Bend your legs to start. Slowly bend at the elbows to lower the body towards the floor until at a 90 degree angle. And once at the bottom, press down on the bench to straighten the arms. Be shown the exact same exercise, but keep your legs straight out in front of you. With this, more weight is being put through the upper body and more strength is required to push your body back up. Be sure to keep the back close to the chair when lowering. You don't want to be reaching too far away from the body as this can cause shoulder injuries. Jack is showing a more advanced exercise. For this you'll need two chairs or something similar. The position for the hands is the same as the past two exercises, however now you want to elevate your feet out in front keeping your legs straight. Lower the body by bending at the elbows until you are at 90 degrees. Push back up through the hands until you are back in the starting position. For this exercise, it is really important to ensure that the benches or chairs that you are using are fully secure. Lean them against the wall, or if you are lucky enough to have a training partner, ask them to hold down the piece of equipment where your hands are. This exercise, yet again, can be completed whilst working from home or at a desk. This is a very simple exercise which can be completed with minimal equipment. Take your time, work through the levels, and see yourself grow over time. We are finishing off with a cool down. Do each exercise for 15 to 20 seconds each. Start by swinging the arms forward for 15 seconds before swinging them backwards for 15 seconds. Not too fast, maintain control. Now, you want to do a tricep stretch. Gently, pull on the elbow so that you can feel the stretch. Do one arm and then the other, 15 seconds on each. finish, we're going to do some shoulder stretches. Stretch across the body and gently pull the arm towards the body to feel the stretch. Hold for 15 seconds and then swap arms. I would recommend doing each of these twice. Well done, another workout complete. Three simple exercises you can all do from your home or office using equipment that should be readily available to you. Take your time don't move on to an advanced level until you are confident and competent in the prior levels. No equipment, no excuses. Until next time, see you soon.